Hi guys, it is February 22nd. It is Wednesday and technically our wellness Wednesday. However, we now see Doc every two weeks because we're doing so well, but um, I have not been feeling good for about a week. I don't know what's going on. My stomach is really nauseous. I've just been so, so nauseous for Literally, the next morning we go on Wednesdays, and the next morning that Thursday, my stomach just ugh, not eating a whole lot, and it's been the same for the whole week. I don't know if it's something I'm taking. I don't know, but I'm going to go see Doc and see what he has to say about it. So that's a little bit later on this evening. If I'm moving slower and just not feeling so good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did I just hit you with the door? My foot. It's me. And him. Don't, Blake. Be nice to the dog. Where are you going? I'm going to school. No, what it is is there's... I'll get my watch in first. It's a uh, meet the firms evening over at, uh, down at the school where you can go. And there's like 15 firms that are representatives from those firms are going to be there where you just go and meet them, talk to them, get to know them a little bit, and I don't know, hopefully make a good impression, but yeah, as long as I will see you later. You look handsome. You look good yourself. So crazy, we've been having some beautiful spring-like weather, and last night it snowed. I don't know if you can see, let me gather so it'll adjust, maybe, there you go, so you can see there's so much snow, but well, you probably don't want to look out this window because it's a lot to talk crap from the winter, but yeah, so, oh, I was going to tell you too, so I've just really not been feeling good for a week, like tomorrow will be one week since I have been feeling super nauseous, so I don't think it's like a stomach bug, like nothing else feels sick it's just my stomach like and then I'm tired but I feel tired because like I'm trying not to puke just trying to deal with the nausea so much that um it kind of wears me out a little and just don't feel good I don't want to eat so I'm really not eating a lot and I think I'm getting a little shaky because I just I usually am able to start to eat around 2 o'clock in the afternoon when I make myself eat something and even then I just don't feel good. But, so last night Blake reminded me of these. They're the C-bands, I think that's what they're called. I can't remember, I'm pretty sure. They're the C-bands and when we went to Australia a few, like four years ago. Um, wow, it's been four years. Man, love Australia. Love it. Oh, I dream of going back there. That was, anyway squirrel. <laughs> um, I got those bands particularly for that trip because I get motion sick a lot um, and we had made plans to go cage shark diving. Actually I made Blake do it. <laughs> well you can't make Blake do anything if you know Blake. Oh hi Jim. How you doing? Um, so yeah he's Blake is afraid of large bodies of water. I hope he's okay with me telling you that. But, yeah, so he's afraid of large bodies of water. So when I told him, we have, we're going to Australia. We have to do the cage shark diving. And it took some convincing, but I was like, dude, bucket list. We are doing this. We ended up doing it, and he loved it. It was awesome. Oh, my gosh, I would do that again in a heartbeat. It was so cool, you guys. Anyway, so, um... We did like years and years ago. It's, uh, it was called it's like the Great Salt Lake Dinner Cruise or something like that. And when we had some family visiting from Germany, we took them on that. And I was like 15 or something. I remember I was so sick. And it's the Great Salt Lake, guys. It's not like there's waves or anything out there. <laughs> so I don't know, but I was sick to my stomach. Like, oh, somebody shoot me, put me out of my misery. It was awful and um so I knew from that that I needed something because they're talking about how it takes like 
three, three and a half, four hours just to drive, not drive, but to on the boat to get out to the location where the sharks are. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I want to do the sharks, but I get so sick. So I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, so I was researching all this stuff and I did everything. I took like the ginger pills for like days before we went on that. I wore these sea bands. I pretty much wore them wore them our whole trip and it kind of sucked for me because I ended up getting this horrible head cold, cold like two days into our trip so I was kind of miserable um but I wore them on every flight gosh lots of info and all I have to say is they helped they helped a lot plus I got I had the patches I did just that day for the shark diving because I knew it was gonna be bad and I was so glad I did because that boat was rocking and I would have been so sick. So I had the patches and I wore the sea bands and I did the ginger pills because I did not want to get sick on that awesome adventure, which I'm so glad I didn't. Um, so Blake reminded me last night, he said, Hey, what about those sea bands? Maybe that'll help. And I was like, Oh, I totally forgot about those, um, to help with my nausea. So Dash, where are you? He's just scratching. I don't know where he went. Anyway, so he got those out for me last night. I didn't even know where they were. And so I put them on and I'm like, hopefully it'll help. And I slept with them on and they helped. Dashy, come here. Stop scratching. Come. Dash, come. So I wore them last night and when I woke up this morning, I wasn't as nauseous. Like I could tell that I'm nauseous. I can feel it, but it's not as bad. Um, and then they're kind of tight, like, I'll kind of pull it up so you can see. They're like, it leaves a mark because it's just, move that other bracelet out of the way. Whoop. So it leaves a mark. It's a little tight on me. Um, and it's supposed to because it's like pressure point stuff. But after a while, it just gets sore. And so I wanted to take it off after having it on all night. Um, so I took it off while I was getting ready today and, oh, that was a bad idea because, oh, hi, Dash. You looking out the window? Hi, my boy. You sweetheart. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, so I took them off and I, I put them back on just a little bit ago because I was not feeling I just am not feeling good. What is going on? Ooh. Dad, is she hanging out, looking out the window? What's out there, bud? Who's outside? Look, outside. <laughs> Who's outside? <laughs> He's so smart, I love it. So I'm excited, I'm really anxious to get to Doc's. I hope he has something that can help. Or maybe just if it's something that I'm taking that I need to stop taking. I don't know. I just don't feel good. So Blake's on his way down to the college and I'm excited. I hope that goes good for him. Right, Dash? <laughs> he looks annoyed with me. <laughs> There's those puppy dog eyes. Hi, baby. I love you. He always sniffs my eyelashes. You looking for the kitty cat? Are you looking to bark at the kitty cat? Is that his, or the horses on the trail? Are you looking for the horses? Ah, oh, the horses. It's the horses. He's waiting for them. Anyways, we'll film later. See you guys.
get home. I am so nauseous. All I want to eat right now is those salting crackers and I don't care if they're gluten free. I don't care whatever. Ooh. I just feel sick. Hello everybody. Again, hello. So it was Wellness Wednesday. And I actually ended up not filming. So at Doc's office? Yeah. But, so it just happened so fast. Like usually hold still Dashie. Usually when we go in, he has us sit down. Well, my sister was there having an adjustment. And instead of going to my sister first, he just came over to me to check stuff out before. So we didn't record anything, sorry. I was gonna ask you how did your visit go first? Okay, so. Um, some of you might know that I've been feeling really sick. Not like sick like I have the flu or, what is with this spot like right there? Stomach bug or something? Not even <clears throat> that, like I just feel nauseous, like insanely nauseous. Like I wake up in the morning and I don't want to eat. Like today I couldn't make myself take my supplements or eat anything till 2 o'clock this afternoon when all I had was a couple pieces of toast with peanut butter on it and that's it. But I am hungry, like I want to eat, but nothing sounds good. Like I want to eat something and I think, oh, this sounds good. And like, as I'm thinking of it, the nausea kicks in and I just, I oh, never mind. I don't want to eat that. So plug your nose and eat. <laughs> I've had to and I it sometimes like makes the nausea worse. Huh. It's I just don't know kind how you of feel, sorry. It's just <laughs> kind of tiring cuz I just am trying to fight the nausea so much that I just I'm tired. And it's hard to fall asleep and by the time I take all my supplements it's really late and I'm just struggling. So last week when we went in to see Doc I felt awesome. Like to tell you guys, I haven't felt that good physically and mentally for years. Like I honestly can't even tell you the last time I felt that good. Um, Dash is snoozing away just in case you wonder what that background is. Um, There's Dash again. Hey, you're showing my stuff. Anyway, so, um, anyway, so the very next morning, which would have been last Thursday morning, I woke up just nauseous, which is crazy because I was feeling awesome the day before. Um, Whoops. like really awesome. So Thursday morning, you didn't feel Thursday morning. Too I was just, ooh, and it hasn't gone away. Every single day, like no matter what I eat, I make myself eat after a while because my stomach burns so bad. It feels like it's eating itself. It just hurts. So I'll make myself eat something. Um, lately, I just want chicken, which is weird because like, and a ro like a rotisserie chicken and that shake and bake chicken was so good. But like, I still felt nauseous when I eat it. But I could make myself eat it for dinner, and it was good. But I made that. He did. I really, I really appreciate you making that too, because I just was not feeling good. Anyway, so it's just not going away. So I made an appointment yesterday to see Doc tonight. I knew my sister was going in, so like, can we just make it around the same time and we'll just go in? So we did, and he just really quickly just checked a few things. Um. There's nothing real. He said like a little something with my upper intestines, but that that shouldn't be making me nauseous or feeling this way. And um, that there is a supplement that I'm taking. It's called Total Female or something like that, I think. And he said I need to stop taking that. Um, it actually has an herb or something in it that can cause some miscarriage or something so you don't want to take it if you're pregnant 
he said to stop taking that and so and then he said the other thing that it sounds like pregnancy um which just guys I, just, I can't even well wrap my brain around that but what he oh, go ahead sorry i'll let you finish anyway so he said you know go get a pregnancy test and take it and in my head i'm like isn't it too soon because i really shouldn't know for another week i guess and he said no you can sometimes i don't he said it can sometimes show if it's light and even if it shows negative that that doesn't mean i'm not pregnant well don't you i don't know if you explained it to to everybody already i like didn't last wednesday at the appointment where he told you to go get i don't know if i tea. yeah we haven't filmed for a while um but i can't remember if we mentioned it in the last week i don't know anyway so towards the beginning of our journey um he said to that we would need to have some raspberry leaf tea and so doc told us you know on this journey like we're gonna start taking these supplements and stuff and then we need we need some raspberry leaf tea and i think it was like the second time i went in um he said i he's like are you taking everything and i was like i doing everything except for the raspberry leaf tea i haven't taken that yet and he said it's okay you don't technically need that until you're pregnant so okay we didn't do it last week I don't know if you guys caught that in the vlog last week, but Doc said, okay, start with the raspberry leaf tea. That was Wednesday. That was Wednesday. It's been a week. And then Thursday morning, the next morning, you started feeling nauseous. Yeah, but I hadn't All taken any raspberry leaf tea. I hadn't taken anything new. It's not like anything with food. Um, you know, at first I was thinking maybe our Valentine's dinner because I had cheese. Thinking maybe, <laughs> oh, man. you know, but that wouldn't last for seven days. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, I'm starving. I haven't eaten, but I'm nauseous. I don't really feel like eating. Doc said I'm going to get some saltine crackers. So, that's what I'm doing tonight. Nibble, nibble. Yeah. Hmm. Which I love saltine crackers. Give me a bottle of water and a box of saltines and I can down those things. They're, I like them. But I'm not eating them really fast right now because heaven help me, I just do not feel good. Um, but yeah, it's not like... And the weird thing is like if I turn my head to look a certain way too fast, I get a dizzy spell. Like, ooh, like it kind of feels like the room is spinning a little Wait. bit. So the other times I can remember feeling like this. Ooh, don't Sorry. tickle my knee. <laughs> For um, so um, with every every infertility treatment that we've done after an insemination or an embryo transfer, you have what I call the eternal two weeks, where you have to wait that two weeks to see if you're pregnant and it's basically you slowly go insane because of the time and you're dying to know if it took um you're scared if it didn't you don't want to have the heartache you're just i mean it's all of these emotions and to me it's an eternal two weeks it's hard to get through um so during those eternal two weeks it's like you're so pumped full of hormones that you feel this. Um, at least I did, and I think some people have talked about this, but it's it's like you're so pumped full of all these pregnancy hormones to make that transfer or the insemination take that you have like, I believe it's progesterone and like whatever else going through your body, whether you had an injection, whether you're still taking the medication and so it's these pregnancy hormones that are going in your body and you start thinking, oh my gosh, I'm sick, I'm nauseous, maybe I'm pregnant. Oh yay, you know, it's worth it if you're pregnant, whatnot, well. That was all the hormones. Yeah, it's just the medication, it's, it's the hormones the at least. medication, I mean, yeah. At least it was for me, and so. Um, There's no medication this time. That's what's throwing me for a <laughs> loop, like. You know, it's not a for sure thing. So this oh, is just no. this is just the craziest thing to think, you guys, that for 12 years, 
even doing IVF and inseminations and everything that we've done, 12 years, I've never gotten pregnant. And the Not last, even once. Not the even. last two months have been going. Well, this is the thing is like Doc. going to see Doc, and he says, you know, I'm still hoping for a natural pregnancy, That's what and he I'm said, like, like the first or second visit, it was I want a natural preg uh, natural pregnancy. He was like, I'm still hoping for a natural pregnancy. Because he has like, this book so thick of all of his well, miracles that he's. <laughs> yeah, he's got a testimonial yeah, book a testimonial where book he's weapon. helped people who've struggled with infertility um, in many different aspects and helped them to get pregnant. And um, I don't know, you guys, this is such a mind trick. My sister's been teasing me. She's like, oh, sounds like pregnancy. Oh, sounds like pregnancy. And this me who's been through 12 years of infertility and it's never a pregnancy. I'm having a really hard time wrapping my mind around this, but what if it is? Anyway, oh, I hate <laughs> being here again. I hate this. We'll see. Well. Anyway, so, <laughs> we don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Doc said, he's like, go buy a pregnancy test. Take a pregnancy test just so you can rule that out. Um, I swore how many years ago? Like, I think year... Many times. Well... Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. That happens that type of too. <laughs> um, <laughs> was it me? <laughs> yeah, it's me. Uh, yeah. Oh. No, I... About year three or four into... <laughs> Three or four years of infertility. I swore I would never buy one of these again Don't we have one like left over somewhere from years and nope. years ago? I chucked them. <laughs> I chucked them. So like all these years of what the ovulation kit oh, yeah, yeah. and that's, that's my, it was an ovulation was. kit and all this stuff and it just It's always no so like all of a sudden these are coming back. Anyway, this is really surreal. Just, I don't even know if that's the right word. It's just have to wait and see. That's what, that's why I feel like, you know, a waiting game, huh? here's the thing is I don't buy them anymore because you'll know too. for sure in a few weeks, yay or nay, your body's <laughs> going to tell you. So I just wouldn't buy them anymore. So my mom and I picked this up tonight. <laughs> And it says, mm. can tell you six days sooner, yeah. which... Who knows? They all, they they all say that. that. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. What do you think? So, I'm not going to take mm. this tonight because it's just better to take it in the morning. Mm. Look right here. Look up. Dash, you want to go to bed? Go night night. <laughs> Ready to go to bed? Do you go outside? Do you go potty? Back and then go out. to bed? Ready to go to bed? There, make it focus. How about go for a walk? No, Not it's tonight. too late. We want to go to bed, tomorrow. huh? Tomorrow. I'll it's... be gone tomorrow. <laughs> Dash, is it 6 o'clock? I don't know what it is with 6 o'clock. He always does that. Is it bedtime? When you go to bed? Look at those eyes. <laughs> so, I didn't tell you something else that happened at Doc's office. What did you not tell me? <laughs> Secret? Secret back, no. It's just another one of those, hmm, kind of things. So, I walked down the hallway, and it was really weird. I'm like, um, so Doc was checking my mom for something really quick. And um, last minute, like, we were ready to go, and then Doc came in. And, or, we were out by the door ready to leave and checking something for my mom real quick. He's like, oh, come back real fast. Let's check this. So, we went back there, and as we were walking back, I was like, it smells like peanuts. I'm like, you guys smell it? It smells like peanuts. And I was like, no, it doesn't smell like peanuts. And my sister is like, you're pregnant, it's pregnancy. And she's like, it's that heightened sense of smell, you're pregnant. And I'm like, I don't know. And Doc's smell eyes got really peanuts. big. He's like, he's like, seriously, he's like, I just ate a salad, and it has peanuts on it, and it's in the other room. And I was like, what? Like, nobody else could smell it, but I'm like, it smells like peanuts. <laughs>